All right, it is that time. We got our friend's uh, trailer, and we are gonna take care of that junk pile and get it up to the dump. All right, so far, still got a little bit to go, but I just got stung by a bee, so, and the back of my knee of all places. So I'm going in and take a little break. All right, guys, we had to do an unexpected purchase. We got some barrels. And the only reason we got these is because last night, or actually about two days ago, I noticed that there were holes in my feed bag. So I was kind of thinking, hmm, maybe we got a rat. Well, last night my daughter goes out to go grab a uh, feed bag uh, to do something with it. And uh, the rat actually chased her out. So... This morning, uh, we went running around to try to find these. These are actually hard to find right now. I was kind of shocked. But, um, yeah, we're going to take care of some business. Okay, there's something in here. That's been moved. It's in the freaking box. Yeah, that's not cool. I'm probably gonna scream like a girl. It's probably a rat. That's what we've been dealing with. So we've got everything out of here. Holy crap! Okay, so one's over here. There's more than one. That thing's behind me now. Need to come out of there. Y'all need to leave. There it goes. Whoa. There's more in there? Are you kidding me? There goes another one, and another one. Holy cow. They're up under that hole in the camper. There's another one. And another one. There's still more in there. There it goes.
There's another one. How many are there? There he is. They're all in there. And there's more in there. Oh, there's another one. I can hear them. They're all in here. There's still more in there. I've lost count. There he is. Them. Holy crap. Well, I guess my... I hear more. Let me see if I can carry this thing outside. Today, we are going to take out this bottom platform so we can put more of these in here. But we're going to go ahead and inspect what is actually underneath of this. And then up there, we'll straighten it out because we still have to put hay and alfalfa hay in here. So, Donald's going to go ahead and tear it up and uh, we'll show you the aftermath. Aftermath. Really? <laughs> All right, so, apparently this has been modified, but check out that. Yeah. Nice vintage laminate. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll keep this. We'll keep that ladder. You know, yeah. that's a nice little ladder. But yeah, I built that whenever me and Braden was staying in it for a little bit. Okay, but yeah, there's the wheel well. We may have to put like hardware cloth on that. I don't know if you want to keep the boxes. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we just need to figure out a, how to solve this problem. And then the next problem is going to be maybe getting the roof not to leak. I don't know. Now, this ain't going to come off because of the board here. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll what about if we cut it? No, we'll have to tear this out, too. Really? Yep. Why? Because those two by fours are holding it up. Oh. So we wouldn't, what if we cut out the center part and leave the wheel well boxes? Well, we could do that. And then we could just put, maybe take the pieces and recover these. Just nail them down so that way the rats are less likely to get in here. They're still in it. Yeah, but it'll be less likely they get inside. You know what I mean? Well, don't tear it up if we don't have to. Yeah, because what they what it is is you got two holes in the back, and it looks like there's like I'm guessing this was probably a table of some sort, a table pullout thing, because these act like uh, extra storage because yeah. there's doors in the back that are open that I saw. So. I'd say maybe let's just think about cutting where you're sitting. Just cut that part out so we can cover up those holes. What do you think? Uh, we might be able to do that. Okay, there we go. All right, so some type of tool there. Um, doesn't look like they can get into there, so I'm trying to figure out how they must have gone up into the vent 
Yeah, because everything looks like it's sealed. Oh, no, right there. There it is. Okay, so... And there's another... I guess... Not quite sure, but... Uh, we'll get this whole thing cleaned up. And we're going to take the feeders, put them over here. We're going to put extra barrels here. The hay's still going to go up there. So we're just going to make it a little less inviting for any of the uh, rat family. All right. It started raining on us, but we got the trash pile taken care of. Everything that's here is stuff that we're going to utilize later. And then we got the barrels put where we want. <laughs> Hello, stupid. Um, these barrels will hold about, what, four bags of feed, honey? Five. Five bags of feed. And then we got this all cleaned out. Look how nice that looks now, guys. Donald, uh... Let me put the uh, door stopper on. But Donald went ahead and we got the goat, chicken stuff. And then we cleaned this all up, made it nice and neat. So hopefully, knock on wood, we won't have any more mice issues. And if we do, we'll see it. You know, they won't have a lot of places to hide. Are you guys ready for your feed? Are you ready for scratch? I got you guys scratch. Yeah, look at that tail blowing in the wind. <laughs> All right, guys, we are kicking butt today. We got the tractor moved and everything moved over here. We're organizing for this weekend. And we got finally got a trash can out here. Um, we'll do something with that stuff in a little bit. But our next project is we're going to clean out all this. We got to get the, chi uh, the tr chicken tractor out. And we're going to get this all organized and move all this stuff here. But as you can tell, the junk pile is gone. So we're going to move all this to over here as well. We want to be able to access the truck when we need to. Um, because it does hold the tires and we're reusing the tires in different locations. And we want to get this, be able to mow this down and start using this. Um, possibly till it up or start growing some of the uh, potatoes in here. And we wanna use this tree stump that the uh, guys cut down for us and put a bunch of nice long hangers so we can hang stuff off that tree and grow stuff as well. So it's slowly coming along and we're gonna clean up that mess too. All right guys, we got the chicken tractor back out again. We're going to um, probably buy, but probably tomorrow we're going to uh, look it over, make sure everything's good on it. Uh, we don't need to patch up anything. Got this area totally cleaned up. Um, the board that you see here, we actually laid that down to try to suppress some of the weeds. Um, the board's pretty much rotted, but so we're just going to... Uh, let it rot there, help suppress the weeds. We got all the tires cleaned up out front. We got this whole area cleaned up. Um, that's gonna be our next dump run. We already started the next load, um, but all that wood is rotted wood, bad wood. This is our staging area for extra supplies that we might need. Uh, we were able to move the tractor and the bicycle and Everything's turned upside down, so that way, um, one, it doesn't collect water. Um, we have a lid for the trash can. We'll put that on in a little bit. This is all cleaned up. We got two more uh, blue totes we're gonna turn into raised beds. Uh, we cleaned up an extra small wood pile that was there. Uh, shed's turning out great, or the RV. I'm going through this because there's a lot of nails and screws in here, so we don't want to turn this upside down, so I've been slowly going through that. And then Donald is making, what are you calling this? This is a rooting greenhouse. It's more to keep the humidity in. 
you have it in the shade because you're not really wanting direct sun but it's for rooting cuttings so this is going to be my rooting house nice. um, but right now once I get it up I'm gonna cover it in chicken wire mm -hmm. it is going to be a temporary pin for the call ducks so. until we get the big round uh, aviary built oh yeah we found a um a uh, family friend of ours has an old uh, trampoline, the metal stuff to it, and we're going to be making a hoop house, is it called? Or well, a roundhouse? It's a or dome. Round, like a dome, it's yeah. It's going to be an aviary. Yeah, a smaller. Or the call ducks. Yeah. Um, and that's any other thunder. other exotic birds we want to put in uh -oh. this. It's going to be nice. Oh, yeah, look, gray clouds. That was thunder we just heard. Be nice if we get some rain. Yeah, we want the water. Clyde, what are you doing? Stop doing that. Oh, that was one thing I wanted you to do. Mount their food poles. I think that's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but everything is coming along pretty good over here. So we're really, we really try to do 1%, don't we? Every, yep. every day we try to at least do... Something one that, small thing. Yeah, something small that's going to make our homestead 1% better. Yeah, and we've been, and actually, we've been following that rule now for two weeks, and it's turned out pretty good. Yeah, we got the idea from Justin Rhodes. Yeah. He does, you know, he tries to do something to bring his homestead up 1% every day. Yep, and I'll tell you what, it really has motivated us, especially in this area. I am so proud of us for doing just this today. Yeah. You know, I mean. Especially considering I'm feeling kind of off today with my vertigo and everything. Yeah. I'm you... having to take a lot of little breaks. But that's okay. Just so I don't wear myself out. Because if I wear myself out, then I, I, I'm i ruined for the day. Yeah. If I let the vertigo get too bad, so. Yeah, so. I'm doing a little bit, then moving, you know, taking a rest, moving some more. Yeah, considering, pushing yeah, pushing through it. But, I mean, considering that we ended up with a bigger problem than we thought we had with the mice. Oh, good gosh. And that turned into an almost an all-day thing itself, just cleaning that up. And it was partly, in a, in a small way, it was our fault because we let things kind of get out of control. In a large way, it was our fault. Well, yeah, but, I mean... 11, 11 adult mice in one box with a bunch of babies. That was just... Insane. That was insane. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had grain and everything in there, feeding them, you know, what we expect. And you know what? And we've been using this RV for, what, almost two years, and we never... It was only until this spring we had a mouse problem yeah. that uh, I started noticing mice in the RV, and... Then they started biting, you know, chewing through our food bags. So we had to spend money and spend time to fix the problem. But I say we did pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we did real good. All right, I'm going to check the radar because that's getting, it's getting darker over here. I think we got a storm coming. The door for this mm -hmm. is going to be a little low. In order to get in it, you have to duck, you're going to have to, have to duck your head. You mean you're going to have to duck your head? Well, you will. You, even you will. Oh, really? How tall is this door going to be? As tall as these posts. I'm five foot two. You won't have to duck much. No. Maybe, maybe just not wear my hair up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Susie who? <laughs> Susie who? <laughs> All right, I'm going to check the radar.